Welcome back, my friend. Before we dive into the technical stuff and the how-to, I just want to basically lay out some principles for success. Because if you don't have successful principles and you're not a successful person, you basically can't run a successful business. So let's talk about the 80-20 rule. This one is present in everything you do. Let's just say you're building an organization online, right? About 80% of your results will come from 20% of your organization. Let's just say you're running traffic, right? Out of the 80% of the traffic that you run, about 20% in general, we usually opt in. If you send out an email, you know, basically 20% of your emails will get you 80% of the results as, as far as like the type of email or even, you know, out of the 80% of people who open it, 20% will click. So you need to know that basically in order for you to be successful as an entrepreneur, 20% of the things you're going to do are going to get you 80% of the results. And we're going to be focusing on the 20%, right? Also, we're going to talk about creating your own economy. This is the idea that absolutely changed my life and business. When I understood this clearly, this is when I began to really make a lot of money online. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Would you rather have 10,000 friends or $10,000? Just think about it for a second. Would you rather have 10,000 friends or $10,000? Well, if you ask me, I would rather have 10,000 friends because then I could literally just ask each of my friends for a dollar. Let's just say I had 10,000 friends and I asked them for two dollars. That's twenty thousand dollars. So that 10,000 friends, guys, I can ask them for two dollars each and literally make twenty thousand dollars a month. It's the same similar concept when you're building a business online. This is the one thing that a lot of people don't tell you when you first get started. You might hear some of the gurus really uh, mention it, but they don't really stress it and that you have to basically build a list. And I tell people, everybody's your friend. Every Everybody is a lead. It doesn't matter if you're catching an Uber to the airport. It doesn't matter if you're saying hi to someone on Facebook for the first time. If someone's on YouTube, the minute you introduce yourself, they are your friend. And when you build a list, right, that's why people say the money is in the list, right? The money is in the relationship with the list of people that follow you. You know when people are popular on Instagram, when they're popular on Facebook, what, what do we say? We say they have a following. That is the list, right? That is their list. That is their 10,000 friends. Work on exposing your business to 10,000 people as a goal and you'll probably see more results. And again, imagine asking for more than a dollar. Imagine asking 10,000 friends for 40 bucks in, in this particular opportunity, which will pay you about 80 to $90 per sale. But this will work for anything that you do, right? You have to have people to expose it to. So work on building a list of people that I call your economy that you can expose your opportunity to and add value to their lives. And the last thing is your daily routine. Literally, what you do today is going to determine where you are tomorrow. What you do today whether it's an income producing activity or not is going to determine if you see a paycheck what do I mean by income producing activity IPA does it make you money right we talked about 20% of the things that you do in your day will make you 80% of the results right the 80 20 rule so what those activities are is creating traffic aka the art of getting people to come to you the art of helping people become more interested in what it is that you're doing what it is that you're offering you need to be capturing these leads every single day and I'm gonna stress that it doesn't matter how you do it I don't care if you're starting from the bottom and you have to write it down on a piece of paper or if you have autoresponders, right? Whatever you have to do to capture the lead. And I'm going to show you some from some pretty unique ways to do it on Facebook for free. Then I'm going to dive a little bit into some paid stuff. And I'm going to show you guys that capturing leads is important because if you don't capture your leads, you know, you can't follow up with them. This is people's number one mistake in business. They don't capture the interest of people and then they don't capture the information of the people who are interested. They, so they can't follow up with them. And of course, the last uh, income producing activity is converting them into sales. You have to follow up. How do you follow up? How do you convert into sales? Sending them multiple videos, emails. If you really, really want to and you're at the beginning of your business, I would recommend a phone call. It goes a long way when you're first getting your business off the ground. But of course, as you begin to generate more traffic and leads, you do want to keep things on automation. So I just have to mention this real quick, just so you guys know these principles for running a successful business. And as long as every single day you're creating traffic, capturing the leads and converting them into sales and basically this is 80% of your activities you're gonna have tons and tons of results I look forward to showing you more see you in the next video